Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresh Technologies. In this video today, let us have a small discussion on naming conventions in Java. Whenever we want to write one program, some standards to be followed in writing a program. Why these standards to be followed means for easy understandable and makes the code very efficient and easily readable. So, whenever you want to follow this kind of rules or some standards, we are calling it as naming conventions. In the last video, we have been discussed about writing one small first program in Java. In the process of writing a program, the definition of program is nothing but set of instructions. Set of instructions means it is a group of lines which are performing a task together, we are calling it a set of instructions. In the last video, we have discussed about the print method. The print method is displaying the message or result or combination of both message and result. The print method, in the process of writing a print method, we have recorded like this now. Java dot lang dot system dot out dot print and some message. Actually, this is one complete syntax of your instruction. This syntax is nothing but this you are calling it as method, you are calling it as method. This you are calling it as class. This you are calling it as package. This you are calling it as Java library, you are calling it as Java library. So, this every instruction will have these four parts now, library part, package part, class part and method part. This instruction, every instruction your Java program is constructed from these four parts normally and here this instruction is the complete syntax of this instruction. Today, we are having this naming conventions, the standards to be followed in writing one library, writing one package, writing one class, writing one method. So, finally, Java library is represented by a keyword Java and this Java library is a collection of packages, normally collection of packages. These packages in Java is a collection of classes, interfaces, even you can have an enum also. So, finally, we can say that Java package is a collection of classes and interfaces for convenient. So, I am calling it as classes and interfaces and these classes and interfaces will have the collection of data, methods, blocks, constructors and so on. For convenient, we take classes and interfaces collection of data and methods, nothing but variables and methods. So, we can write it as data and methods. So, in the process of writing one instruction within the program, so everybody should think about this transition. Java library is a collection of packages, packages collection of classes and interfaces and this classes and interfaces collection of data and methods, you can call it as variables and methods, no problem. This transition is very important to us. This transition we are using in your instruction construction normally. The last program I demonstrated print method, print method is linked to out field of your system class and system classes belongs to lang package and this lang package belongs to java library dot operator in java indicates belongs to or member of so let us have some naming convention about this package class and interface data and variable so we start with packages normally java library is represented by the keyword java they are in small letters. Whenever you want to write this library Java, that should be in lower case or small letters. So, let us start with packages. Packages by definition collection of classes and interfaces. When this packages, whenever you want to write the package, by the last practical program we used java.lang. Whenever I want to write this lang now, in this package whenever I write the lang now, I will use lower case letters. So, the packages must be, the packages must be coded in lower case format or small letters. So, the example packages we had is nothing but lang, we are calling it as language package. 
you are calling it as utility package io we are calling it as input or output like this these are the some examples to you so whenever you want to write one package the package must be in lower case or small letters that is a coding rule of the package so the packages we can identify very easily easily readable identified it makes the code very efficient by seeing the program we can understand this is one package this is one package and so on so now comes your class now so this whenever i want to speak about class sir normally class is an blueprint of object or class is an logical structure of object for now class is an collection of data and methods so whenever we want to represent the class or whenever we want to code the class or whenever we want to write one class within the program the class the starting letter of every word in the class must be capital that is a coding rule now nothing but naming convention whenever you want to write one class name within your program the starting letter of every word within the class must be capital example if i want to write one class name is account a c c o u n t account i must write if it is a user defined class this is like this if it is a built in class string is there i must write s capital object is there i must write like this buffered reader we had one concept known as one class name known as buffered reader so whenever you want to write your buffered reader in your in your program b should be capital r should be capital buffered reader b u f f e r e d buffered r e a d e r buffered reader so i want to write one in, input stream reader so whenever i want to write input stream reader now this is input stream reader this is the way of writing your classes so class is an collection of data and methods so whenever you want to write one class or whenever you want to represent a class in the, within the programming code the starting letter of every word must be capital if i use one single word like this a capital s capital o capital i had two words in my class now b should be capital r should be capital whenever i had three words in the class i should be capital s to s should be capital and r input stream reader these are the naming convention of package naming convention of class so you understood package you understood class so then we had interface now so whenever i want to go for interface so interface is also collection of data and methods interface is also collection of data and methods the difference between class and interface if somebody asked you must say class is a collection of concrete methods methods with method bodies interface is a collection of abstract method method without method body we are calling it as abstract method finally as a code writer whenever i want to write one interface interface is a collection of data and methods so we had a common arrow here so whenever if you see the arrow in this transition now classes and interfaces are part of packages within the classes we had data and methods within the interfaces i had data and methods so finally whenever i want to represent one interface in my program or whenever i want to code one interface in my program interface is also having the same naming convention of class means what the starting letter of every word within the interface must be capital so whenever i want to write one interface as runnable if i want to write one runnable i'll write like this now r u n n a b l e runnable r is the capital letter like class whenever i want to write clonable c l o n e a b l e clonable serializable so these three are comes under examples of your interface now interface also having the same naming convention of this one naming convention of this so finally runnable clonable serializable class and interface both are collection of data and methods class is a collection of concrete methods and interface is a collection of abstract methods and whenever you want to represent in your programming code class and interface will have the same coding rule the starting letter of every word must be capital so these are the three coding rules up to now 
packages are represented in lower case or small letters classes are represented the starting letter of every word must be capital the same convention is applied for your interface now comes your methods so normally method in other language you are calling it as function so whenever i want to speak about function now the set of or the part of program which is executed out of main program in your c language you are calling it as function so whenever you want to declare this function this function became a part of class or member of class the function which is declared as a member of the class within the c++ language we are calling it as member function this same function entered into the class of java we are calling it as java class java class at the initial stage it is a collection of data methods and main the starting point of your program the method is nothing but the function which is declared only within the class we are calling it as method so finally whenever i want to write one method in my programming code i had one standard to be written application or efficiency whenever i want to write one method the starting word in the method name must be in lower case from second word onwards the starting letter must be capital so whenever i want to write one new instance one method is available new instance whenever i want to write my new instance it contains two uh, words now so whenever it contains two words now new the first word must be in lower case or small letters the second word starting letter must be capital means what new instance new instance method see there new in lower case i capital whenever i want to write my read line r e a d in small letters or lower case line l starts from your capital so this is the one coding rule or standard to be followed while coding your methods the starting word within the method name must be lower case from second word onwards the starting letter must be capital so the best example i given here is nothing but new instance method new keyword or sorry new word must be in lower case and instance i capital read line read is in lower case and line l is in capital this is the format to be followed while coding methods now comes your data so the data is nothing but you can call it as variable i am calling it as variable so the variables in your java sorry any language any language variables are the data holders which holds the data which are to be used in your calculations or result generations that you are calling it as variables so the variables also we follow small coding rule for the variable so variables will have the same naming convention of your methods so you must not use in in real time in your practice sessions in your training process we use x y a b c you must not use this kind of names in your real time whenever you want to load one data from the pan card you must use pan card complete name aadhar card number complete name you have to use it whenever i am trying to use this kind of names now there are two words are available pan card aadhar card number so here three words are involved and here two words are involved whenever a variable is having more than one word then we are using the same naming convention of method if i want to write one pan card now i must write like this in my coding part pan must be in small letter and card c capital this is the naming convention of variable maximum value if not max value if i want one max value i must write max like this and value so this is a small naming convention of your variable sir if i have single letter no problem you can have single letter or group of letters if you take the group of letters without spaces without spaces and you have to follow the same naming convention of method and one rule you have to follow here these variables must not start with numeric value nothing but the starting value must be character whenever you want to start with variable variables must be start with character or dollar or underscore this three are allowed other than this it generates error now anyway in variable space must not be there if you try to use your group of letters space must not be there moreover variable must be start with one character value or dollar or you must use underscore 
you must not start by numeric or any other special symbol other than dollar and underscore. These are the naming convention of variable. These five are very important going to be participated in constructing the instruction of your program. Whenever if you take package, package is a collection of classes and interfaces. Whenever you want to represent or write the package within the program, the lower case letters are used to represent the packages, example, lang, util and so on. And the package is a collection of class and interface anyway. This class is a collection of data and methods. Interface is a collection of data and methods. Now here, methods will have the bodies. Method which is declared with method body, concrete method we are calling it as. The method can be declared without method body, we are calling it as abstract method here. Interfaces and classes will have the same naming convention. The naming convention is nothing but the starting letter of every word within the class or within the interface must be capital. And this classes and interfaces collection of what now? Methods. So, methods are nothing but a part of program executed out of main program we are calling it as function. In other language, the function which is declared only within the class in Java, you are calling it as method. According to the developer, method is an action which is performed on your input data in the process of generating output, we are calling it as methods. Whenever you want to represent the methods, the methods starting word must be in lower case. From second word onwards, the starting letter must be capital. So, finally, the methods are trying to perform action on your variable. So, variables are the data holders which holds the data which is used in the calculation in the process of generating output. Whenever if you are trying to use group of letters in your variable, the best practice in real time is you must use complete words for understanding purpose, for readable purpose. When you are trying to use more than one letter in your variable, you must not use space in the middle of the variable and the variable must be started with character or underscore or dollar. You must not use other than that. This is the naming convention of variable, method, interface, class and packages. There are one concept known as constants. We can call it as constants. So, whenever we want to represent one constant, constant means what and which cannot be changeable throughout our program execution, we are calling it as constant. Now, the developer want to say it is one constant or he want to represent one constant. Whenever you want to represent one constant, constants are represented or following the one standard known as constants must be in capital letters. The total word must be represented in upper case or capital letters. We must use upper cases or capital letters. For constants, we are using upper case, upper case or capital letters and these are all the naming conventions for only. The major one is package, class, interface, methods, variables, constants whenever you want to write must be and capitalized. This is a small theory behind your naming conventions. Naming conventions means the standards to be followed by the programmer in writing one program. Sir, whether these are mandatory, these are not mandatory. If you do not use also nothing happens, but our library, Java library, if you want to understand the Java library classes interfaces and methods, they followed the total naming conventions. So, whenever in the practice sessions, we must write your program by the naming convention, the standards to be followed in coding a program for easily readable and understandable and makes the code more efficient. Thank you. Watch me on more videos in Narisha Technologies.